The happiness of traffic, the influx of visitors demanding the unique experiences and the need to get from A to B have all contributed to this form of unusual modes of transport in Africa. Hello guys, welcome to Bad Ghana. My name is Savi and I present to you the 10 most unusual modes of transport in Africa. Number 10. places striking midway between price and comfort thus peugeot 504 station wagons officially seat seven set places charge a set price per seat but you will bargain for how much your luggage cost even if you don't have much you need to pay as it is how the drivers make money if you have four to six people in your party, it's easiest and most comfortable to buy out the extra seats since set places only leave one they are filled up. The drivers sometimes decide to take more than seven passengers. If you can't afford a seat in the set place, minibuses are your uncomfortable alternative. Drivers squeeze four or five or seven people onto a row meant for three or four. In addition, waiting for a 20-person vehicle to fill up, even from Dakar, takes hours. Sleeper trains When it comes to visiting the country of your dreams, no place holds the promise of adventure and fantasy like Egypt. Egypt is the epitome of an ancient civilization that has held the world's fascination for thousands of years. When it comes to traveling through Egypt, what better way to experience your journey than to enjoy your precious vacation time by spending it in the convenience and luxury of a world-class sleeping train. Arriving fresh and relaxed at your destination and having spent the night traveling in comfortable style gives you the chance to make the best use of your holiday. Taxi Sisters the female taxi drivers are breaking new grounds in the capital city of Dakar. A group of Senegalese women has set up its own taxi firm to take on the men. And their notoriously old, dirty and dangerous vehicles, sleeping behind the taxi bill in the Muslim country, hijab-clad Senegalese women are driving gender equality forward and changing social attitudes in the former French colony. Driving through Dakar streets in their shiny new Chinese-made cars, the women cabbies are vowing to give a much-needed facelift to the taxi sector known for its old and smoky cars. Under a special deal, women taxi drivers get to park at the entrances to some of the city's plushest hotels. Car Rapid the Car Rapid is a Dakar institution. The inspiration for a large number of the souvenirs in Dakar's market, this unique, colorful, hand painted local buses, are the ultimate symbol of the Senegalese capital. Car Rapids are neither rapid nor are they a car bus in the conventional sense. That's because Car Rapids have no set routes, just destination. In their former lives, the Car Rapids were simple, windowless vans in French towns in the 1960s. A decade later, they touched down on Senegalese soil and were reborn. Entrepreneur locals added window seats and custom paint jobs, offering cheap communal transport at a time when public transport was merely a futuristic vision. And by the end of the 1990s, there was an estimated 3,000 car rapids waving around the city. Keke. After the Nigerian government also placed a ban on Okada in the main city, Keke became the new means of transportation as it is the case now in Sierra Leone. Keke are generally more comfortable and a great deal. Like the yellow iconic car that travels the streets of New York City, the small beetle-like tricycle zooms the city of Freetown. Passengers boarding Keke in Freetown say they prefer Keke to taxis because it is faster. They express their satisfaction or the level of customer care they get from Keke riders. The public relations officer for the Sierra Leone Tricycle Communal Motorbike Riders Association appealed that the commercial tricycles be called Bono Bono in honor of the first tricycle rider in Sierra Leone. He also added the name Keke was imported from the Nigerians.
Peugeot taxis. For decades, when you called or hailed a taxi in Ethiopia, you could count on the Hadi Peugeot rolling up. The Peugeot make up almost the entire taxi fleet. Their competitors are minibuses and three-wheel tactics. This means the wave of ride-sharing disrupting the taxi industry around the world has yet to emerge as a major threat and is currently limited to a handful of setups in the capital, Addis Ababa. This Peugeot were the choice for many taxi drivers in the country. The country's taxi drivers are proud of their mid-country Peugeot. Okada in Nigeria, an Okada is a motorcycle taxi. The name was taken from Okada Air, a Nigerian local airline. Motorcycle taxis are commonly used in some West African countries. Motorcycles are widely considered one of the most significant street transportation in Nigeria. Although there are different types of motorcycles, the street bikes popularly known as Okada is the most prominent in Nigeria. To be the everyday hustle, people in Nigeria rely on drivers on Okada to help them get from one point to another. Okada has drastically reduced unemployment and it is a form of livelihood for a lot of people in Nigeria. Chocho in Ghana and neighboring countries, Chocho are privately owned minibus that travel fixed routes leaving when filled to capacity. Chocho is a local term for any minibus in Ghana. Ghanaian Chocho run in between specific destinations with passengers alighting at designated or assumed bus stops while others get on board. This business is unique for its cheaper transport fares and possibly interaction at least with the conductor who is locally known as mate. The name Chocho derives from the old Ghan word Cho, meaning three pence, the unit of currency used during the period of British rule in Ghana. Historically, Chocho were Bedford converted to hold passengers seated on wooden benches. Although pence is no longer the currency of Ghana, Chocho remain incredibly cheap. Matatu in Kenya, Mathatu are privately owned minibuses, often decorated. Many Mathatu feature portraits of famous people or slogans and sayings. Likewise, the music they play is also aimed at quickly attracting riders. Although their origins can be traced back to the 1960s, Mathatu saw growth in Kenya in the 1980s and 1990s. And by the early 2000s, the archetypal form was a decorated Japanese microbus. In addition to a driver, Mathatu may be stopped by a conductor, locally known as Makanga or Manamba or Donda. As of 1999, there were the only form of public transport available in Nairobi, Kenya, although in 2006 and 2008, this was no longer the case. The Rickshaw for a few Durban locals, riding a rickshaw along the Golden Mile brings back found childhood memories. This unique attraction has formed part of the fabric of Durban for well over a century and counting to this day. What can't be missed is definitely the colorful decorated headdress, which is unique to each rickshaw puller. In 1902, there were around 2,000 registered rickshaw pullers who provided Durban's primary mood of transport around the city centre and Habo. Sit back and relax as your rickshaw puller trots around, simply effortless pulling its load behind him. Durban rickshaws are a great way to see the famous Golden Mile and to participate in the honourable tradition. Beautiful scenes from the African continent and also various transportations in Africa. Do not forget to subscribe, like and also comment to our videos. My name is Savi. Till then, it's bye.